Victor here with Programmatic Academy, continuing our course in basics of programmatic. Welcome to lesson four. We will be discussing data. So what is big data? Big data is a term that was, was, is very popular, uh, one of these um, buzzwords that is mentioned in, in almost every capacity now. So it's lost a lot of its meaning, I would say. But essentially, big data is just, uh, you know, data that is collected through pretty much everything we do. In our case, we're going to focus on, you know, business data, which is what our campaigns essentially will be creating and collecting, OK? Uh, Wikipedia defines it as an all-encompassing term for any collection of data set so large or complex that it becomes difficult to process, process them using traditional data processing applications. So the challenges include analysis, capture, curation, search, sharing, storage, transfer, visualization, and privacy violations. And all of those things are done in programmatic when you're dealing with the amounts of data that we deal with. Uh, as an example, and this was something that was very difficult to find, uh, at least more recent ones, Google and Facebook account for 43% of global ad spending. Actually, it's probably it's higher it, than it was when I created this slide. So it's higher now than, than, than this figure. And I want to say closer to 50, 60% even. Um, to give you an example, and this is what was hard to, to kind of uh, find something uh, more accurate, more recent. In 2012, Facebook captured 100 to 500 terabytes of data every day, which is just incredible. In 2008, Google was collecting 20, 20 petabytes of data every day. That's amazing. In total, the volume of business data worldwide across all companies doubles every 1.2 years which is incredible. And one of the challenges is what to do with all these, with this data and how to curate it. What is, what is the benefit? How to best use it, etc. I mean, there's a million questions to be asked on, on data, how to analyze it, how to interpret it, how to find insights. These are all things that we wrestle with in programmatic and um, a lot of times with our our brothers and sisters in data and analytics. All right, for our purposes in programmatic and in digital, how is a lot of this data captured? Well, it's captured through something called a pixel, which is nothing more than a one by one image implemented on a page. Uh, and every time that page loads, through a user, through an action, that pixel is triggered and the, the data is captured, okay? Now, using this big data for media buying, a lot of this data nowadays is housed in something called a DMP, or a data management platform, which is nothing more than a warehouse for your data. It goes in, and you can take it out and use it whenever you run a campaign. It also provides, you know, insights. It provides uh, a lot of different benefits for your campaign. All right. If you are not using a DMP for your campaigns, I would say that you are losing out on a lot of information. So think of, think about it this way. Let's say you are running a campaign and you are collecting emails, okay? Um, if you never use, even if the campaign is a success, if you never use those emails again for, you know, marketing purposes, uh, it, it kind of is a waste of time, money, and energy because you just collected all these emails and you're not going to use them again. And the same can be said about campaigns online. If you are running your campaign, even if you get sales, even if you, you know, you meet the metrics that you were after, 
um, if you don't kind of use that data again, it was, it's kind of uh, been in vain. So a DMP can house these, um, these kind of profiles and audiences that are collected when you run the campaign and you can reuse them again. A good thing with a DMP is that you can use your CRM. So if your company or your brand is running with, let's say, salesforce.com, you can connect that CRM data to a data management platform and therefore target a lot of those users online, which is an extremely useful uh, tip or functionality. I would say the one exception to this rule is with Google. Google does not allow you to directly target those uh, users from your CRM, but a lot of other you know DMP uh, or companies that provide this functionality do. Uh, so you know Media Math and, uh, and others do allow you to, to do this. Even Facebook, when you run uh, campaigns directly on Facebook, allow you to upload you know specific, uh, for example, an email uh, database. Now, what are the types of targeting that can be done with the data collected and also the types of insights gained? <clears throat> okay, if we look on the left-hand side over here in audiences, okay, this is a, probably the most important of, of that and is data segment. A lot of the times it will run, the data collected would be run against third-party data so you can see specifically um, who it is, you know, what they do, what they are. So if you run a campaign, uh, the, a data segment might be, you know, women 18 to 35 that are university uh, graduates that uh, have a high to medium income range and enjoy you know, running on the weekends. For example, single, uh, can be married, kids, etc. It's a lot of, a lot of data and it's very specific in a lot of cases um, so it's it's extremely useful contextual channels searches as well uh, technology you know the connection speed of your users ISP the types of browser the OS they're using uh, where in the world countries down by you know, DMA city zip code or specific uh, locations with geo targeting, uh, the time of day, time of or time of day, day of week, uh, specific sites visited, and then tar targeting can also be done with you know the, the pixels. Then, as we we saw, the pixel fires when a page is visited, so you can see specifically what pages were visited. For example, what items were bought, what ads were viewed. If you install a pixel on an ad. You can see that as well. So what, what does this all mean? Um, like I said, the point of all of this is to make good business decisions with the data that we capture and to also facilitate and improve upon our online campaigns. And with all this data, it gives us essentially the ability for better targeting, which is probably the most important thing you can have in any uh, online marketing or any marketing campaign in general, is good targeting and gives you control. I don't know why I have a little music sign there on the control, but disregard that. But essentially control. Unlike, you know, IO-based IO media buys or ad networks, programmatic gives us the full control of the campaign from beginning to end. Okay, um, very important. With these two things combined, the targeting and the control, uh, you would really be hard pressed to find a way to not make your campaign a success in some way. Okay, obviously you have to have the other things working for you like the landing page, the creatives, and everything along those lines but as far as data if you have all these these two things and you're doing programmatic it, it should work all right this was a quick one if you have any questions please leave them below and uh, these are your quiz questions
for lesson four. Thanks and good luck.